Okay, so we will ask the yz calculation. We know the yz is to y e plus az. We have the size of y e, which is a 1.9. We're going to use. We have to find this side. Alright? Now, to find this side from our super tool, we just run through it quickly. You write this down. It's always good to write this down on your paper, right? Because it helps you remember. You don't have to remember it. You just remember so it's all, you write it down, and you can use that. Sometimes it's good when you're working on your questions, write down some of the things that you know automatically may be used in your question. So you encounter a question with angles, boom, so it's all. Just write it down. Right? Any other quick, quick, quick notes that you, that you can recall that may help, may help you in the question, write it down. Don't spend five minutes writing down notes. We just try to write on the key ones, yeah? Okay, so just running through this quickly now. This is the opposite side, opposite to the angle 35. And thus we have... We have the hypotenuse and the adjacent. So we can either use sine. Can we use sine? Yeah? Opposite. We want to find the opposite. So we can use sine to find the opposite. We can also use tan to find the opposite. But we can't use cos, because cos will be what this is. Right? So, very quickly, uh, we would, let's just go with sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, according to what you have stated, you would say that sine 35, yeah? Sine 35 is equal to, uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and uh, the opposite side is the side we want to find. We're just going to call it xA for now. Yeah? From x to a. So sine 35 is opposite xA over nine. xA over the hypotenuse, which is 100. And then that gives us some amount of space here. Right? That gives us x a by a cross multiplication, x a is equal to sine 35 multiplied by 100. Sine 35 multiplied <coughs> by 100. Can you give us an answer? 37.3. 30? 37.3. Yeah. 0.4. Because it's 5. Right? 50. Oh, this is not as nice. 57.4. Right, so we have x a, which is the opposite to the angle 20, yeah? And if we have the opposite to the angle, we could use tan. Because y from a to z is the adjacent. A to z, right? We want to find the adjacent. For this angle 20, we have opposite. Hypotenuse adjacent. So, by a similar calculation, we could work out that tan 20 tan 20 is equal to now tan is opposite over adjacent. The opposite is 57.4 x8. And notice how Identifying x a as in the diagram helps us to remember what we're doing. Yeah? So uh, this is good to be able to identify the stuff, different components to your solution. So tan 20 is opposite over adjacent, opposite is 57.4, 57.4 over adjacent, which is a z. By a cross multiplication, we will get a z is equal to 57.4 divided by tan 20, and if you can give us that formula. Is it? Tan 20, multiply by, sorry. Tan 20, Okay, so, and you did 57.4 divided by tan 20, right? Yeah, let's do that. So, continue 57.4. Divide by 20 times 157. So AZ is equal to 157.7. Right? 
right? AZ, from A to Z, is 157.7. From A to Y, really? So we have yz is equal to 157.7 plus 81.9 plus 81.9 plus 81.9 and give me, can you give me a calculation then?